Okay, so today we're going over adding two negative integers. So, you know, we're going to look at it very similarly to the way we looked at them yesterday. We started with just two positives, and then we did a positive and a negative that were opposites of each other. And we did some with zeros as well. And on all of those, we started by looking at a number line. And we used the number line and then used that to come up with a rule. And we're going to do the exact same thing today. We're going to start by adding two negative integers using a number line, showing what it means, what it's going to look like, what the answer is going to be. Practice a couple, get a rule, and then apply that rule. Okay? So, some of you may already know. Or you may have a good guess as to what the answer to this one is, negative 5 plus negative 4. But again, I wanted to make sure that you see, because they're not all going to be this easy, obviously, using number line is going to help you. If I'm looking at this problem, and I'm starting negative 5, so that means I'm coming down here to negative 5 first. And then from there, I'm adding a negative. So we said yesterday, normally when you're adding, you go to the right. But since it's a negative, you do the opposite. So to add a negative, I move to the left. So if I'm at negative 5 and I go to the left four more places, I end up right here, and that's at negative 9. So, you know, hopefully if you took a guess or if you, you thought you knew what the answer was, then hopefully you were right. Negative 5 plus negative 4 will give you a negative 9. And real simple with the arrows it's very easy to see if you use that number line okay so a couple more examples let's you know i would suggest you know pausing the video here or you know maybe watch one more and then pause it and then i'll show you what these are but we'll do the first one again how you could do it quickly with a just a quick jotted down number line doesn't have to be anything special you don't have to show all the way from zero Let's just say I was coming over to here, and this was negative 11. So that's where I'm starting at. And then I'm adding a negative 8, so I have to go further to the left. I'm going down 8 more. And so I start from here, and I go down 8 more. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I end up right here. This is going to be my answer. If I count it out, that's 12, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15, negative 16, negative 17, negative 18, and negative 19. So negative 11 plus negative 8 is negative 19. Now, what I want you to do is pause the video right here and do these two problems. If you think you know what the answer is going to be without doing a number line, absolutely go ahead and try that. If you're not positive what it's going to be, make a number line, do them, use the number line. That way you know you're getting the answer right. So try both of these, pause the video, and then I'll give you the answers. Okay. So the first one here, negative 6 plus negative 15. When I add those together, I should get a negative 21. And negative 22 plus negative 13 should give me a negative 35. Okay. Now, we've had four different problems that we've done. We did the one back here. Negative 5 plus negative 4 is negative 9. Negative 11 and 8 is negative 19. And these two. So what I want you to do is look at these answers that we got for these. And now let's think about this. When you add two negative numbers together... The answer will always be, is it positive or is it negative? What did all these answers come out to be? Well, every single one of them came out to be a negative. So anytime you're going to add two negatives, you get a negative. So the second part of it is, what do we actually do to get the answer what do we do with the numbers and these are the two questions you'll always ask when we're doing addition and subtraction multiplication and division problems with positives and negatives your two questions are was my answer going to be positive or negative and then the second part is what do i actually do with the numbers do i add them subtract them multiply or divide them and you can see if you go back here well i use five and four and i got nine well i, I certainly didn't subtract those. 5 minus 4 is 1. I didn't multiply them. 5 times 4 is 20. I didn't divide them. 5 plus 4 is 9. I just added them together. 
does that work on these ones? Well, 11 plus 8, yeah, that's 19. 6 plus 15, yeah, that's 21. 22 plus 13, yeah, that's 35. So what I am doing every time to get the answer is just add, okay? So with these in mind, let's try a couple more, okay? So again, now you have two different ways to do these problems. You can either draw a number line and move along the number line, or you can use this rule if you remember it. So I'm adding two negatives, negative 16 plus negative 12. My answer is going to be a negative. That's easy. To get my answer, I'm actually going to add the numbers together. So 16 plus 12 gives me 28. And so my answer would be negative 28. So quickly, pause the video again. Do these two problems. Try whichever way you're more comfortable. Try either with a number line or, you know, if you can, try with the rule. That's going to be quicker for you if you remember that rule. So try to do that if you can. And then get the answers and then start the video again, and I will give you the correct answers. Okay? So the first one, again, they're both negative, so when I add them, that's negative. 10 plus 4 is 14. That's it. And the last one. It's going to be a negative because they both are 23 plus 8. That should give me 31. So my answer will be negative 31. And that's it. That's all there is to adding and with two negatives. Okay. Either use your number line or remember this rule. It's always going to be negative and we add the numbers.